Hey everybody, how are you doing today? It is October 14th, 2020, and this is another video that I'm going to show you step by step how the lockdowns are not only here, but that more are coming. Uh, we'll start here. This is actually from back in July 27th of 2020, obviously this year, okay? So check this out though. It says, healthcare experts urge for second U.S. shutdown amid CB second surge. Okay, so they are back in July, the end of July, they are already asking people, you know, they're asking the United States to shut down all these experts, right? That's what we've been talking about, how they have their experts and that's what we should listen to and, you know, follow everything that they say. You know, they say right here, it says more than 150 medical experts, scientists, teachers, and nurses are pleading with the government to shut down the country for a second time amid growing numbers of the CV patients. It says a letter, which was written to President Donald Trump's administration, states the best thing for the nation is not to reopen as quickly as possible. It's to save as many lives as possible. What do you know, though? Who says this? CNN. Yeah, exactly. But check this out right here. Shut it down, start over, and do it right. Hit the reset button. This is what they want. They want this to happen. You have all these so-called experts. They list them all down here, and there's more and more of their experts that are saying, we need to shut down again. And this was back at the end of July, not in the beginning of October. Now they have said how much worse it's getting for the last couple of weeks. That's all you've heard. Everything is surging. So this was them telling us ahead of time, like always. So trust me, these lockdowns are coming. They may not be here in the United States yet, but I'm going to show you everywhere throughout the world where these lockdowns are already happening. This is from yesterday, the Netherlands, PM, partial lockdown needed to slow CV spread. The Dutch government announced a new round of measures to slow the spread of CV on Tuesday, including limits on size of social gatherings and a ban on the sale of alcohol in the evening. Do you see everything that is happening? You are going into a complete the controlled environment. Big Brother is now going to be watching and controlling your every move. Okay? Look at this. We're just going to keep going. You know, this is another one on, on Netherlands. The Dutch return to partial lockdown as the cases soar. You know, that's what they're going to continue to say. You know, check this out here too. Boris Johnson won't rule out a national lockdown despite saying... It would be a disaster. Do you see? They don't care. They want the disaster. They want order out of chaos. Okay? They're already locking people down here in the UK. It's a three-step lockdown. I covered it yesterday. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link to it. But definitely go check it out because they're already locking them down. What they're saying here is that they're eventually going to do a full lockdown where everything is locked down. Okay? And of course they say it's going to be a disaster, but that's what they want. Order out of chaos. Another one, night on the town, Moscow style, few masks, but lots of worry about another lockdown. These are coming, everyone. I'm begging you to prepare, please. No fear, no panic, but just get ready. Get your family ready because they're not stopping. Here we go, another. It's going to be a very tough six months. Strict lockdown in Liverpool leads to fear and anger. This is what they want fear and anger this is a complete attack on all of us another one cv northern ireland to go into a four-week partial lockdown okay and what you're seeing is a bunch of these coming out with like partial lockdowns or a you know a uh, staggered scale of who they're going to lock down inside these areas but it won't be for long this is your step one then after this just like you know boris johnson said uh, you know, they won't rule out a nationwide lockdown. Well, it's because they're planning to do that. That will be the next step, okay? So you definitely need to uh, pay attention to this. You know, there's so much going on. And when they start locking everything down like this, check this out. This is an article today that I saw. Police raid Shisha Bar with hundreds breaking lockdown rules. It says, a shisha bar has been fined 10000 after 250 people were found crammed inside during a police raid. It says, police body cam footage captured the moment officers turned up at 
uh, Casablanca Shisher Lounge in Birmingham following complaints about loud music Friday night. As officers stand outside the building questioning someone about the bar's capacity, the venue's shutters can be seen slowly closing in the background, prompting one of the PCs to ask, why are they locking it up? Police say the shutters were deliberately slammed shut in their faces to stop them from entering and that the music inside was turned off. It says, in the footage released by the West Midlands Police, one of the officers can be heard telling someone behind the bar, shutting the shutters to turn off the music has made no difference. We've got it all on camera. Here, go ahead and check this video out. Shutting the shutters to turn the music to turn the music off has made no difference. We've got it all on camera. Every person here should be wearing a mask. You are working behind here. You have a duty to ensure that people in here are following the guidelines. People should not be in groups up at the till. No, I listen. Hear, I can hear the music. It's all recorded. As soon as whoever is that controls these shutters has seen the police, they've shut the shutters. I've then stood at that door and I've heard them turn the music down and tell everyone to be quiet. I can hear it through the door. I'm not stupid. Oh, there you go. You think that this is not going to be a complete controlled system now you're not allowed to do anything they tell you you, you did it. whatever they say you have to do it that is what they're saying to us this is really really um reaching your peak your point of 100 percent no return so please share this information you know they went on to say every person should be wearing a mask you are working behind here you have a duty to ensure that people in here are following the guidelines people should not be in groups up at the till while another officer says, when I came in here, I could hear the music. It's all recorded. See? Um, as soon as whoever is in that controls sees shutters that has seen the police, they've shut the shutters. So yeah, they shut them as soon as they saw the cops. Says, uh, I've stood at the door and heard, heard them turn the music down and tell everyone to be quiet. I can hear it through the door. I'm not stupid. You know, listen to this, you know? You're not even, they're not doing anything wrong. Oh, they have too many people in one spot. I mean, this is what it's come to. And what do they do? They launch an investigation and they fine him. You know? It's And they're doing it everywhere. Look at this. It says, in a separate incident, a premise at Phoenix Business Park in Walsall was also fined over the weekend relating to an illegal rave broke up, broken up back in September. See, so they're just fining everybody. You know? Look at this. Another one. The Chicken Hut Fast Food Restaurant was also done for breaching the 10 p.m. closure time on Friday night. So you got curfews now where you can't, you know, keep these businesses open after 10 p.m. Yeah, and listen, officers on dedicated CV patrols also shut down events at Violet Salon and the Lock Lounge in Birmingham where large groups of people were continuing to break regulations. These premises will now be considered for fines. Officers on duty, CV patrols, on dedicated CV patrols. They have perfectly set up plan where these, you know, this is all happening the way they want it to. They even have, look at dedicated patrol people going out, these police, you know, just to, you know, come after you for not listening, not wearing a mask, you know, not social distancing, getting together with too many people, you know. And we know it's not going to stop, okay? We know it's not going to stop, you know. And here you go. Look at this. Another one. You know, the latest. Francis Macron to reinstate the state of emergency. This is just from today, just a couple minutes ago. It says, President Emmanuel, President Macron's office says France will restore a state of the health emergency that expired three months ago. Macron is addressing the nation on television Wednesday night and could announce more measures. The move is expected to start Saturday and will allow the government to enforce stricter measures in the futures, either locally or nationally. It's coming. It's here. You know? Check this out, too. They had to throw this in there. France has 798,000 confirmed cases and nearly 33,000 deaths. They had to get their 33 in there. You know? And what are we going to do? Okay? What are they going to force on us to where they say, oh, well, here, you can finally have your lives back. You know? Oh, go back to the normal, you know? Because this is the new normal, as they say. No, it's not. And we can't let it be. Okay, but they're going to tell you that the only way to do this is a massive tra testing, massive tracing, and also what the vax. Look at this from today. 
World Bank approves $12 billion to finance virus vax care. They are showing their hand over and over again. And if people do not see this now, they're running out of time. You know, the World Bank has approved $12 billion in financing to help developing countries buy and distribute the CV vaccines, tests, and treatments aiming to support the backs of up to 1 billion people. Are you seeing the writing on the wall? Do you see what's coming? I know my subscribers do. You can see it. Why can't the rest? You have to open your eyes now. That's why we must be sharing this information. You know, it's just um, when they're dumping in $12 billion, you know, look at this. They're expanding their fast track approach to address the CV emergency so that developing countries have fair and equal access to vaccines. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Developing countries. You mean like the weak ones, the poor ones that you're going to go after? That's why you had this money in there. You got to have enough, you know, vaccine, enough people there to shove it into these people, you know, and all your poor areas, your weak, your elderly, your, you know, whatever it is. Obviously, your poverty, you know, they're, they're always going to go after those areas. They're going after those people. These are targeted. Like I said yesterday, that's why you won't get a lot of, you know, nationwide lockdowns. You're going to get specific lockdowns to certain areas where they're going to say that it's worse, you know, which is always what? In the inner cities, in the, you know, poor areas. Well, what do you know, right? Those areas need to go on lockdown. They need to shut down. They need to be controlled. They need to be quarantined. That's how they do it. You know, it just, um, it's all here. You can see it. I just showed you it. It's not going to stop. So please share this information. Talk to your family. Talk to your friends because you can clearly see that the end game is total control and their vax. Everybody stay safe. Stay strong. We'll talk to you soon. God bless.